two, bam, review. Stage right and stage left. And on the glass and the hat, you're seeing a symbol of what? Dogfish Head Craft Brewery out of Milton, Delaware, you as a fan. Yay, yay. So you know what time it is. It's time for DJ to go local. That's right, we're going local yet again with another Dogfish Head beer. And what beer do we have from them today? We have a collab beer with our friends who? The Flaming Lips. That's right. This is their music collaboration series. And what beer is that? It's Dragons and Yum Yums. This is an American IPA. It's a limited serving of clocks in at 6.5% ABV and 25 IBUs. Now, you know because it's a Dogfish Head beer. Well, not all always, but many, many times. Besides the warrior hops and malt and water and yeast that they're using in this beer, you know there's some ah, adjuncts up in this brew. And what adjuncts are there? They are dragon fruit, yum berry, whatever that is, passion fruit, pear juice, and black carrot juice. That sounds freaking awesome. So, you know what? I've had a really long day. It's time to pop the top on this bad boy, get it in the dogfish head, snap the and tell you what's up with Dragons and Yum Yums. Hell yes. Hopefully it is. Gigantic hiss off the top. Yum Yums. Obsessively collectible dogfish at ground. Not that I don't have five million of them. Mmm. I can smell the fruitiness and the hops blasting off the top. Let's look at that beer. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a peachy color. Like you'd almost see like uh, like a peach grape juice or something like from Welch's. One of those kind of colors or maybe like a peach soda. Let's talk about the appearance now that I've already started. There's tons of active bubbles coming up from the bottom of this non-nucleated glass. We got a crispy white head of super tightly packed bubbles and a sort of peach colored or maybe, um, yeah, I guess peach colored sort of body, like peachy, juicy, sort of peach red kind of color. When I swirl it, you know what? We're getting some alcohol legs, even though it's only 6.5%. I think we may get some glass lacing and we're about at one finger, but take a look at that beer in the glass. That is a beautiful brew. Also, take a look at this glass. We got dogfish head on one side, and we got their record store or vinyl day, whatever it is, logo on the back. That pretty much freaking rocks. But you know what? Though the glass and the beer are pretty, it's got to smell good too. So let's dive in for the aroma. Mmm, man, nice citrus aroma. After that, there's a fruity berry note with all that freaking berry, this and that in there. You can, you kind of expect that. Mm, there's a nice sweetness balanced out by a big punch of like sort of zesty citrus herbaceousness. Yeah, it's 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 got almost like a like a raspberry-ish aroma, like really toned down with that addition of the hops, like a little bit of pine and a slight dankness in there. Not a hint of of um. Not a hint of alcohol in the aroma. I'm digging for aromas in this because there's so much going on, like fruitiness and, and hoppy and a little bit dank and like a malty sweetness as well. It smells like an IPA, but definitely there's a, there you can tell there's a resounding fruit note in there. Could I pick out pear juice or black, black carrot juice? Probably not, but I can tell there's fruitiness. Anywho, enough flap my gums. Let's dive in. Cheers! Mmm, yum. Mmm. Nice glass lacing, as I thought. Right up in front, you get a hit of fruitiness. It tastes more like um like I'm getting an overriding taste of like the passion fruit. And then I don't know what yum berry is, but I'm gonna kind of like a, a cranberry, like a dried cranberry like berry, like a craisin kind of taste. After that, the hop comes in. It's got a citrusy sort of hop, maybe a tiny bit of pine in there. Definitely some herbaceousness. Um, in the back is a really crisp, dry finish. I can see crushing these out in the sun for sure. The 6.5% is completely hidden. It's only a 25 IBU beer, so I didn't expect some like big hop forwardness. This is super fresh. It just came out. Um, I think uh, took from what I looked on the bottle, it's, it's just days old at this point. Can't remember the date because I need more beer to get my memory kicked in. Mmm, man, crisp, clean. It's almost like um, like like a like a wine spritzer, like in some way. It's got like a vinous kind of character to it because it's got a real poppy, zippy carbonation to it. Like I said, I could totally see smashing these out on on the porch or something and chilling. It's not a mind blowing beer, but it's well done and really tasty. Mmm, and 
it's the kind it's like almost New England IPA like in the way not that it's a big juice bomb or anything like that in the way that the finish is so clean almost you know what it reminds me of too some of the IPLs from uh, Jack's Abbey how their clean cleanliness in the back end and also um, this beer what was it called God so, I've drank so many uh, <laughs> it's it's just been one of those freaking weeks beer thousand this was super clean in the back end that was an IPL and this kind of drinks IPL ish. So, maybe it's all that, like, fruit juice and everything that's doing that, because when you ferment that fruit juice, you tend to definitely get a, um, a way more dry finish when you add fruit juice to a beer, and you also, you know, like, you know, wines and, you know, ciders and things of that sort, they tend to be on the drier side as well. So, I'm flapping my gums, waxing the fantastic about beer and brewing and all that, because that's what I like to do, but we I need to grade this, because you guys are ready to go drink some beer too, probably, right? And I'm going to crush this. Anywho. At time of recording, Beer Advocate is giving it 3.88 out of 5. And Untapped is giving this 3.71 out of 5 caps. So we got high B pluses to A minus range. Let me take another taste here, and I will pass grade. I think Dragons and Yum Yums is Yum Yum. I like the Flaming Lips. I like Dogfish Head. I'm digging this beer. I'm going to go 90, just in the A minus range. Super tasty. Not a mind blower. Very well done, and for a fruited beer, a lot of beers that have fruit in them suck. This does not suck. It's well done. But it's a dogfish head beer, and you, uh, obviously, I would dig dogfish head. So, so next DJ Brew Tube. Ah, if you've had this beer, you got to let me know. Because you know what? I like the quid pro quo and, and the back and forth. Ooh, I also really like it when you do me a big favor and you think locally drink locally. <laughs> I'm getting it done. Are you doing your part? And you know what that does? That supports the craft beer movement. Ooh, and is it also really cool when you do what? Rate, comment, subscribe, especially if it's your first time joining us. That's right. Sign up. Hit that sub button. Come on back for more of my craziness and reviews. Also, if you could do me a big favor and kind of, I don't know, consider maybe smashing that like button because that, along with one, maybe two, or three dragon and yum yums will definitely put my happy face on. So the next DJ Brew Tube, I got nothing but a bunch of loco drinking beer love for you, and you know what's coming. That's right. <laughs> ah, a big picture. <laughs>